A more advanced area that you may want to look at is actually measuring the bile duct. That's a pretty straightforward procedure. First thing you do is again find that exclamation sign and again we see it here with the gallbladder in length, we see the portal vein and just above the portal vein lies the bile duct. So when we carefully scan you can see an area just above the portal vein which is anechoic. I'm going to freeze this here in a moment and you should be able to see a very tiny duct. If you're squinting at the screen like I am trying to see where the duct is you're dealing with a patient with a normal duct. Usually when the duct is enlarged, it'll be quite evident and it'll be, can be as large as the portal vein itself. So I'm going to freeze this here. So on the screen right now, I have a reasonably good image of the portal vein and the associated structures around it. Right above it, we see an, a very tiny anechoic stripe, that is the bile duct. In addition, we also note a very small area which is the hepatic artery which I'll point out in a moment. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and do the measurement of the bile duct. A normal bile duct measurement is about four millimeters or less or about one millimeter per decade of life. So I'm going to go ahead and hit caliper and I'm going to drag one end of this to the inner aspect of the bile duct. Once I have found that I'm going to hit select and I'm going to drag this down just adjacent to it and you can see we're getting a measurement here of 0.14 centimeters or 1.4 millimeters so well within the normal limits. Okay I'm going to illustrate to you where the hepatic artery is. We can see first this is the portal vein right here. Right above it is that little anechoic stripe which is very tiny and difficult to see because this bile duct is normal. This is the common bile duct. But right adjacent to here is another anechoic structure, which is the hepatic artery. If there's ever any confusion of what you're measuring, you can easily turn the color flow on to differentiate the two.